We are at USS Nagoya Ocean House today and we have to find the GTR 34 that we can use this key to be able to open in and check out the condition of it. So we are already here at the Jumbo Tower, a new tower at USS Nagoya and we are on the fifth floor and as you can see that all around me surrounded with the cars being auctioned today on Friday, November 27th, 27th, 20, and I'm here to purchase a car that is nothing less than, less than a legend. Japanese engineering perfection it is. And I'm talking about none other than, of course, as most of you guys understand from looking at this key, GTR 34. It's a V-Spec edition, year 99, and it's been rebuilt at Omori Factory. Legendary Nismo Omori Factory, okay? And it's got the S2 engine. Take a look at this car. One thing, as I said from my previous videos, is I love about auctions is that everything, every time you come to this auction house trying to find the car that you're looking for, a lot of other really, really nice cars keeps popping up. And this is one of the examples. I think I was looking at this car from my desk back at the office. This car is being auctioned. I think it might, I think the auction might have ended as well for this particular car. And uh, yeah, we don't have the keys, but I think it's a year 2002 series. Um, yeah, the, the, the last model GTR 34, it comes with the black interior, just like the V-Spec 2 edition. And this car has got, I think about 58,000 kilometers. Looks really nice, black color. Some people are a fan of black color, some people are not, but it's got the lovely BBS wheels as well. But yeah, it's being said, let's keep looking for the car that we are looking for. Look at the Subaru, really nice. So the reason why I'm here today again is to inspect this car. And at the end of the day, we are going to be bidding on the car. Today, right now, it's a, 320 so that car is going to be auctioned at 510 so we have about one hour 15 minutes before the car is going to be auctioned so in the meantime we got to check out that car and see the condition in real i think the grade was four interior b we'll be taking a closer look what grade four interior b gtr 34 looks like here at uss nagoya auction house so the let's see it's a jumbo tower section c1 at, where is section C1? Oh, section C1. They're already here. So um, you gotta check it out, guys. Can you guys see that? I saw it from very far away. It's a GTR 33 out there. Looks like midnight purple color. Lot of GTR 33 being auction lately. Honestly, though, all of them are shitty condition. Known mileage, accident, rusty, suck. I mean, we are not getting GTR 33s anymore lately. I used to tell my couple of month ago videos, get GTR 33 boys, get GTR 33, they're undervalued, but right now, they become really rare. So, you know, they're missing it out. That is inspector, as you guys can see that, is checking out one car. Take a look at that, boys. That's the car we are here to inspect, and that is a Z-Tune replica, none other than GTR 34. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Before that, take a look at this one. Again, this is Midnight Purple GTR 33. I was telling you about the condition of GTR 33s being auctioned lately. So look at the fenders. I mean, crazy. Voila. Let's take a look at it. Again, as you guys can see that, it's got the RB26, the, the GTR 34, the cover plates on it, strut towers. Very easy to notice that the original color of this car was probably white or silver, and strut towers are rusted. That means the underbody of the car is pretty much rusted as well. So pretty much, you know, it sucks. Timing belt apparently changed at 79,000 kilometers when the car had. I don't even know the mileage of the car, and I don't really want to know it either. Cars like that in this condition, you see the rust? You see this? You're not gonna buy it, you know? Skip it. So, ha, day starts with this. Take a look at this car. Oh my God. 
This thing is what I am here for, and this thing is what we are gonna take a closer look at, and this thing is I really, really, really think want to get from this auction house today. I mean, there are cars, guys. When you see it at the first sight, you'll be like impressed. I'm like, oh my God, look at that car. This is one of them. This is one of them. I don't know how you guys feel looking at the video here. Maybe it's not as clearly visible as it is, but this car, guys, man, look at it. I'm like, oh my God. Number of things we want to inspect on this car in the next 20 minutes or so, we don't have much time. So first things first, let me open it up because I got the keys for the car. Let me drive it over there. So, oops, and you will see. Wow, as I sit here, it's great. You gotta start from the beginning. The reason I moved the car here is because it's kind of sunny out there and I don't have much space. So right now I have a lot more space. And as you guys can see that the car looks immaculate, guys, immaculate. Let's pull up the auction sheet to learn a little bit more about the car. But in the meantime, let me run the engine because I we like to keep the engine running while we speak. So guys, Let's take a look at the auction sheet real quick. So guys, as you guys can see that it's a year 1999, Japanese in 11, GTR 34. It's a V-Spec edition, which makes it really, really good. That's a grade four. And in here, B, accident free, looks really nice. Uh, 103,000 kilometers, which is good. And it's got, as you guys can see that, bunch of upgrades. This is a one owner car. That's being put at the auction by the current owner directly. And it's got a bunch of aftermarket parts, which I'm not going to go into details. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, what we are going to do. Uh, bad points usually written here, guys. Good points, all of them are here. As you guys can see that, this is a continuation of this, which is good. So um, let's see. It says handle, kind of a little bit worn out. Underbody has been repainted. And I tell you what, underbody, since the car has been built in Omori, it has been repainted by Omori. So this is actually not that bad thing. We'll take a closer look at it in detail. It's got a little bit of, uh, you know, scratches here and there, it says, but that's mostly for the auction sheet. It's a non-smoke, yeah, I think it's non-smoking car too, so you'll find out soon. So, guys, let's run through real quick about the exterior of the car. As you guys can see that, guys, oh, importantly, the auction sheet, maybe I think I tell you guys, it's a silver car originally, it was repainted to gray. So guys, looking at the car, it's very easy to notice by most of you, and I'm pretty sure you guys are JDM sports car fans. That's the reason why you guys are watching this channel. It's got the Z-Tune fenders, Z-Tune bonnet. It's got the Nismo, uh, the, the lip, which is really good. It's a carbon one, guys. And it's got the, as you guys can see, that Nismo intake cooler as well. It's a big one, really good one. So we are gonna pop up a hood very soon and find out a little bit more in details. Um, it's got the Nismo wheels. Nismo wheels itself, guys, is, as you guys can see that, um, scratch-free, which is really good. Uh, and previously, apparently, uh, as far as I understand, the Nismo installed on the car because I did my homework, uh, GTR 35 uh, brakes, but I guess it was replaced afterwards, which is, yeah, you know, um, but no problem, great. It's got the Nismo side skirts. It's got the Nismo rear skirts. Makes the car really, really, really good. As you guys can see that, it's got the Nismo um, pillars here as well, been covered. Seals on the car overall, looks uh, really good. No problem with that. The car is grade four, so that you guys understand. It's the highest grade for used car. This system gets grade five and grade, and then it goes down as grade 4.5, 4, 3.5, 3. And if it, the car has got repair history, it gets R. So it's grade four, which is, you know, not bad. Look at this one. Oh, good. So, um, let's keep looking. This is also a Nismo, as you guys can see that. Pretty nice. I wonder if the taillights are also Nismo ones. Let's turn on the taillights. Yeah, it's got the Nismo taillights as well. Really good. Of course, the Nissan, the, the manufactured V-Spec edition GTR 34, V-Spec, V-Spec 2, and 
respect to your all of them with the, uh, the the diffuser of course respect you feel it has got of course but it's got the nismo muffler which is good most of you guys do understand as i said from the beginning is that this car has been rebuilt by omori factory and the most of all we're going to come which is the under engine compartment it's got the engine special by omori factory nismo engine inside you guys you guys get to see it really soon but again Exhaust so far, so good. Looks really good. Let's take a look at the body of the car. So far from here, it's hard to see the, 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 whether it's got the rust issues or not, but uh, maybe we can probably can see it from here. Let's see that. What do you say? Yeah, it's hard to see, but yeah, it looks like relatively okay. The car has been repainted, as you guys understand. So let's take a look at the body of the car from this side as well. Can you please put your point your camera? That everybody else can see that the car on the body has been repainted guys so we got to pay a little bit closer attention why it was repainted and that's i personally been to Amori factory and they offer this service of whenever you get the car repainted or get things done they offer the stamawari and the body of the car refreshment also repaint as well some people like to have it really clean maybe they did it at Amori factory we gotta find out again overall car looks pretty clean so far so good great for worth it very much great for it not bad not bad we gotta find out i mean we'll be paying a little bit more in detail attention after this video but again we're gonna fast it up for this video let's pop up the hood and see what the car has got under this bonnet and of course you gotta check whether the bonnet is also genuine from Mori factory but come on guys you know who would put a fake bonnet nismo bonnet when they get the engine done Voila guys, take a look at this, it's got the S2 engine, as you guys can see that has been installed by Nismo, and this guy, the engine itself costs probably about $46,000, $50,000 or so, it's got the batch from Nismo as you guys can see that, it's got the air filter done at the Nismo as well, it's got the Nismo tower bars, and a lot of people confuse this, this is a carbon um, z tune bonnet as you guys can see this it's a carbon fiber very light and sometimes there are knockoffs or like fake ones as well in japan they're high quality fake ones as well but one way to notice whether this one is particularly coming from nismo or not is to basically take a look at this part right here so if you guys notice this one you guys can see that there's a nismo batch but the the the, the chassis number of that plate and um, can you see it yeah, it's all good. So this makes the real Nismo carbon fiber bonnet, which is really good, really good. It's got the intercooler, of course, Nismo as well. It's got the radiator, it's got the Nismo cap. Of course, I mean, the car looks really good. It's got the aftermarket suspensions as well. But overall, it looks really clean. Guys, again, please do note that the car has been repainted from silver to gray. So the color doesn't make too much of a difference. But at the end of the day, it's been repainted again. So, and one of the problems with the repaints in Japan is that when they repaint it, when you open the engine compartment, just like the GTR 33 out there you saw, it's just not good. But the um, good thing about this is that they did the repaint with the engine out. There's a good chance that the repaint has been done at Omori factory or like Nismo. Um, but we gotta confirm that. We gotta check it out. You can show them the, 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 the chassis plate of the car if you guys wanna track it down. Maybe you know it as well. We will see. And strut towers as well as you guys can see that doesn't have any rust issues and I don't expect the strut towers to have any rust issues as well. The car very highly likely has been kept indoor which is good. So let's shut the bonnet. So far so good looks pretty good. And let's take a look at the interior of the car real quick. It's got the Nismo stickers right here. Okay. The car looks great. It's got the Z-Tune look like all the Nismo body kits. As you guys can see that era kits. It's got the S2 engine, which is really expensive and hard to get it done in Mori factory. But what I don't like very much about is maybe the bright seats, as you guys can see that. Aftermarket seats. If I were the owner, probably the previous owner, I would end up maybe placing, keeping the genuine seats and putting the Nismo state cars maybe on hood, you know. We might just redo the upgrade further as well. It's got the Nismo carpet, as you guys can see that here. MFT is a Nismo as well, which is great. It makes it very highly valuable. It's got the turbo timer, 
shift knob upgraded, navigation system to see the aircon if it works or not. Works pretty good. Let me sit down over there. Okay, wow. This looks really good from this angle as well. The bright seats, bright seats really good. There are a lot of people that are a fan of bright seats, but you know, I'm a fan of more of the stock seats. Again, wow. This seats is like hugging me like this, you know? It makes me feel really comfortable. Let me turn on the aircon, works perfectly fine. Needs more shift knob as you guys can see that. It's got the ETC system for the highway installed on the car. So it's got the Nismo cluster, by the way, guys, installed on the car. Nismo 320 cluster right here, as you guys can see that. And it's got 57,000 kilometers on Nismo cluster. The previous cluster has got about probably another, um, how much? 46,000 kilometers or so, because total mileage of this car is 103,000 kilometers. It's got the Nismo steering wheel. It looks really, really good. Um, I mean, Wow, this steering wheel is also really good. It's a little bit smaller than the Genius uh, the steering wheel, but this one's a little bit smaller, but it's really comfortable too. Damn, that's the S2 engine, guys. Must drive really, really good as well. Let's see the power stream. Power windows really moving is not a problem. Carpets look clean. Got the pedals off the market as well. Looks nice and clean so far, so good, which is not a problem. It's got the JCI as well, guys, installed on the car, which makes it um, currently eligible to be driven on the road. It's got the JCI or shock in, the plate on the road installed for the next, um, until July next year, which is good, which is good. So um, again, what else? Handle worn out, the auction sheet says. This is probably the worn out handle how it looks like you guys saw the underbody paint um it could be done by delmari factory as well as well who knows we had we got to take a closer look which we'll be doing it very soon and uh, yeah so far so good the car looks really good to me grade four interior b um very fair evaluation very fair very fair but what you guys think so far so good so you guys saw the car. I came. I came here to inspect this car, and the auction is about to start for this car in about one hour from now. What do you think so far? What do you think the value of such cars is gonna be? GTR 34s lately, guys, at minimum are going hundred thousand uh, dollars, you know, and up. The cleaner the the rear model it becomes, it goes up two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars. We've been buying cars at GTR 34 and yours at three hundred thousand dollars lately ridiculous expensive but anyways but uh, of course the the legendary shop that rebuilt gtr 34s in none other than the nomori uh nismo factory you know and i went to nismo actually two weeks ago uh to uh i brought a uh, m spec gtr 34 to get an engine rebuilt and they provide me a number of options and you guys can see some of the clips here us visiting at Domori factory and taking a look at the cars. You do all the modifications, upgrades, services, and you can refresh the cars, you can rebuild the cars under body of the cars. You can make it look really, really clean and sexy. We are having one of our clients, Abdul's actually, M-Spec Pearl White, rebuilt the Omori factory, and we'll be installing F-Sports engine. And of course, before Omori factory was offering S1, S2 engine, as well as R1 and R2 engines, and lately even also offering the F Sports engine as well. Just this engine itself for the installation cost without getting the car refreshed, the engine compartment refreshed, refreshed only guys, it's gonna cost more than $50,000. Getting the car itself refreshed is also very expensive. They have different uh, options that goes as expensive as $450,000 to get the car rebuilt at them. Ridiculous, just a rebuilt man, you know. So, um, Again, um, this car itself, uh, the reason why I'm very much interested is that it has been before Rebuild Omori Factory once, and that's the reason why it's got the S2 engine itself installed on the car. It's got the Omori Factory, uh, the, the, the documents, books that we have provided for this particular car, so we will be studying that in detail, and we will see, man. This car is year 99, which makes it closer to become USA import legal in early 2024 about three years and two months from now it's going to be USA import legal 
this is accident free as you guys can see that it's got the just the body kits the, the bonnet itself the the, the r tuner z tune bonnet carbon fiber itself is about you know um very expensive six nine thousand dollars i think right i can't remember the last figure but again the, the just the just the aero parts on the car itself is about thirty thousand dollars you know all the all the parts combined um it's got the engine as well as you guys can see another forty fifty thousand dollars right there these mobiles looks really clean it's got a number of other upgrades on the car has been done only 103,000 kilometers which translates into about 60,000 miles or so what do you guys think you tell me what's the price of a such car how much up to shall i bid we will be bidding on the car very soon at our war room um, and uh, and i'm excited man i'm excited because this is the car that i really want um i know how much expensive it can be at omori factory to get the car rebuilt that's why i would prefer to buy a car that has already done with this rebuild so that's the reason why i'm here to check out this car it's extremely rare to find such cars omori built cars uh coming up at the auctions so you guys help me out uh up to how much to bid and soon in this video you'll be seeing whether we end up purchasing this car or not. I have some value in mind, but I hope that it's auction and it's popped up for sale yesterday. So we will see. Boys, so thanks for watching. And right now, let's go to the war room and get ready to place a bit on this GTR 34 V spec, guys. So let's go.
show this then a bunch of uh, young ladies try to stern like and uh, learn English and you know just remember all that you know and good <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> you got the feel the acceleration speed and smoothness of this engineering perfection Hard to describe, man. I'm so happy. You know, it feels it's boring a... seeing in front of PC and you know, just no offense, guys, doing like computer work and writing emails and stuff. But man, when you get to do stuff like that, I mean, you can do stuff like that. The smile on your face, you know what I mean? It's like a good refreshment moment. I get to have time to time working on my GTR. Needs my steering wheel, needs my shift knob as you guys can see that. Needs my MFD, multifunction display. And a bunch of other Nissan. Needs my goodies. I mean, everything is needs more here. Let's go. I get caught with 81 kilometers speeding. Like I got speeding ticket for 81 kilometers, so I was over speed 21. I was like, ah, oh, fuck's sake, you know? <laughs> Shut up, right? I mean, <laughs> the moment you pass that 20 extra mark, you get caught. If there's a police around, they give you a ticket. It's, I mean, you know, paying the penalty sucks. I hate it, but you know, you got to do it if you break the rule. But what hurts the most is if they give you a point or take away your driver's license. And a car guy like me, without driver's license, it's like a bird without a wing. You know, right? Right? I mean, I mean, I lost my driver's license for three months once, and it sucked. But I was able to take some courses, pay some extra money to get it retrieved faster. But I mean, it feels horrible not being able to drive your car. So. That's the dilemma, guys. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, you know? Have fun and maybe no one is around. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> but, you know, probably not on this highway, around my shop. Too many police cars here, you know? Watching you over from different angles and, you know, almost you spot you, they're like, boom! 
you sucker, gotta pay the penalty. And you'd be like, oh, fuck no, you know. Backside shop back again. Let's take a look at the car from the outside once more, one more time. And we got to wrap up this video, man. I gotta do some works on this car and head to the port. Come back from the port, replace some inquiries, some further office work stuff. And that's pretty much it for me doing my business. Guys, as always. Pleasure doing this videos for you guys and pleasure showing you guys what kind of you know stuff we are doing and pleasure sharing this fun with you guys all and as always man thanks for watching and see you guys in the video the next video is to come cheers and have a fabulous day said that when you park the car and when you stop it and you get out of it you don't look back and feel how awesome your car is you're not driving the right car you know? i can look back like 10 times and be like oh fuck man i love this car <laughs> you gotta clean her up that's the first thing to do Love your car. If you're not loving the car you're driving, you better reach out to me, man. I gotta hook you guys up with one of those. Maybe not one of those. Even you know, any car that is your dream, that is your choice. Your car is your wing. Have the right car, guys. And if you are a JDM sports car fan, if you wanna get one of those cars from Japan, you know who to reach out. You know, yours sincerely, right here. Anyways guys, have a fabulous day. Cheers.